Okay, well, I've decided to cut my day short. Um, today is the opening day to deer season, and like I said, I had a car come through at 6.30 this morning, and uh, once I started up breakfast and started eating, uh, somebody walked up the street or up the road, and so I've got a bunch of stuff I've got to do at the house to get ready for a trip on Monday, and I get to get this stuff cleaned up and get ready to take my hammock um that's another story but uh anyway i was taking it down i just wanted to show you uh, how my hammock was set up inside um as you can see i've already folded up the heart the tarp um i did have a little burn spot down here on this corner um so i guess when i built the fire up last night it uh flared and an ember ran over and burned about a or oh, two inch hole in it but it seared the edges so i don't think it'll be an issue but uh, what I've done is just pull the tarp together and uh, pull my snake skins down, attach them in the center. Um, then I'll unhook this end where the hook is, push it in, and then come over here to where the carabiner is and push it in the end and secure it and then stuff it in the sack. Um, but what I wanted to show you, like I said, was my setup. Uh, here was my outside thermometer. Uh, lowest it got last night was 52 and my temperature the lowest it got inside was 56 so i had a, a good four or five degree difference between inside and outside um like i said i do run a second ridge line this is a, a quarter inch um cotton rope and i do have the second one and that supports strictly my ridge line bags um, this one I had some hand warmers and my thermometer uh, right now indoors showing 54 degrees so it's dropped outside uh, this was my um, do-rag that's insulated uh, a regular flashlight the little lantern that I was using by the campfire last night uh, a beanie um, with some uh, fleece gloves and a head LED, this is my little red frog light, and then there's a bottle of water uh, in this long tube underneath. And then down at the end, I had some gloves hanging up by clips in case I needed them, which I did not at all. And I also had a, uh, a head covering. So, but uh, anyway, that was my setup. Oh, um, here's my qu under quilt that I made. Um, inside, I have a, a windshield protector uh, for insulation uh, this particular t um, under quilt or excuse me plug did not have ties on this side so my wife sewed um, buttons and then I took some really small ponytail rubber bands uh, to hold it together and uh, I had this uh, cloth hammock or wire mesh ha not wire mesh but mesh hammock for years it's been rolled up in a ball never used it and again something i wanted to try out people said to hang it up underneath and so that's what i did um and it was great for holding my gear uh, i put my clothes in there um then when i got started getting cold last night i pulled them up and uh, got dressed um i've got my hat in there um i've got the two costco quilts in there and then uh those are the big wool mittens gloves uh, for snowmobiling and then also brought in my schmog and my gopro um, so it's a little low i could hang it up higher but i didn't know how it was going to be you know, when i sat down in the hammock and so it worked out pretty good kept my stuff out of the dirt and uh, so i'm really happy with that i will use it again so that was my setup and like i said i'm just breaking camp uh, getting everything cleaned up uh, go get some more water and put it on the fire but oh the tab um you can see the little black dot there in the stove the single tab uh would not light with the striker uh, i ended up having to use a lighter and i held it in my fingers and i didn't know if it was going to flash or not and so i uh, tried it and it didn't flash but it just started burning it took about 10 15 seconds for it to to catch uh, a flame uh, I put on my orange uh, hunting hat to this morning because of people walking around. But uh, I put the tablet in there and uh, 
like I said, it took about 10, 15 seconds to light, put it in the middle of the, the plate, move the plate up to the top level. And when it burned out, the water was kind of lukewarm, uh, not hot. So you'd have to put at least two, if not three in there to get a boiling cup of water uh, for two cups of water or a single cup, whichever. Um, but I wasn't worried about that this morning. So um, I just wanted to see if those would work and how they worked. So anyway, there's another car coming down the road. So let me go ahead and stop this and I'll talk to you later.